you're working on a car, then sooner or later you're going to need to get access to the parts tucked away underneath, and one way to do that is to use a jack. The little one that's tucked away in your boot is really only for emergencies and isn't up to the job for proper maintenance work. There are three main types of jack, that's the trolley, bottle and scissor jack. They all do fundamentally the same thing, but in a slightly different way. In all three cases, start off by finding the jacking points on your car. Your owner's manual will tell you where it is safe to lift the car from and make sure your car is on a firm and even surface. First of all, this is an old fashioned scissor jack, very similar to the type you'll find in the back of your car, and it is the cheapest and smallest option available. It comes with a handle, which slots in at the end here, and that winds the arms apart. So position it under the jacking point, turn it clockwise, and keep doing so until the car is lifted off the ground. To lower it back down, it is simply a case of winding the handle the other way. The trolley jack is a safer, more stable, and quicker option. It's the choice of many professional and home mechanics. The wheels mean that you can roll it into position easily, but before you do, start by making sure that this little lever here is turned to the right. And you can do that by using the end of the handle. Then it is simply a case of inserting the handle and pumping it until this cradle here reaches the jacking point. To lower it back down, take the handle out and twist that little lever we mentioned earlier anti-clockwise, taking care to do so steadily to lower the car slowly. The bottle jack works in much the same way as a trolley jack, using hydraulic force to lift the car up. It has the bonus, however, of being smaller and easier to store than a trolley jack, but this means it isn't quite as stable. Again, make sure this little lever is set to the right, then unscrew the top of the jack to the correct length. The instructions should tell you how far you need to extend it. Then position it under the jacking point, insert the handle and pump until the car is raised. And you lower it again in the same way as you would the trolley jack by turning the lever in the opposite direction. Now you should never rely on a jack alone while you're working underneath the car and should always use axle stands to support the car's weight. Now for more information on those, watch our guide here. And for more guides on working on your car, click here to watch the rest of our videos.